Thanks. We begin with the president's decision to try to block the release of prisoner abuse photos from over in Iraq and Afghanistan. Anthony Romero is the executive director, I mean the top guy at the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, where they brought in the big boys for this one. The group has argued in court for the release of those photos. And Pete Hegseth, an old friend of this show, he's an Iraq War veteran. Thank you for your service, Pete, again. Thanks, he's Chris. chairman of Vets for Freedom. First of all, I want to go to Anthony Romero, who's been on this case for how many weeks have you been fighting this thing? We've been fighting it for six years. Not six weeks. years to get six these years. pictures out. Why is it in the interest of, well, the country? or civil liberties, the things you fight for, that we see these god-awful photos? Well, no one wants to look at the god-awful photos. But we as a country have to go back and look at the crimes that were committed under President Bush's watch. And these photos will show incontrovertible proof that torture did indeed occur. And we have Vice President Cheney flying around the country saying, we didn't torture, we didn't waterboard. Show us the photos. Have you seen them? No, I haven't seen them yet. Have you, have you got any description of what they show? I've talked with high-level government officials who've told me that we expect more than 2,000 photos worse than Abu Ghraib. Worse than Abu Ghraib. So when the president says these are not inflammatory, I don't believe it. Well, I don't buy Pete, it. Why shouldn't these photos be released? Now, uh, you find yourself perhaps in this argument on the side of President Obama, but why do you think he's right? Oh, he's absolutely right. He's right uh, because he listened to the sound advice of his commanders on the ground who told him sound. out front, who told him out mm -hmm. front that, uh, that attacks will increase, that we will lose American lives if these photos are shown. If you look at the 10 days following the release of the Abu Ghraib photos, attacks increased 200 percent across Iraq. They saw that. They understand what happens when we give this propaganda to the enemy. That's what the ACLU is trying to hand over, propaganda to the, propaganda to the enemy. Anthony has not seen this enemy. I have and hundreds of thousands of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans have. They understand the danger we face and that our enemies will use this against us. I applaud President Obama for having the courage to stand up and not release these. He did the right thing today. Do you think we should abandon any use of anything that could be called torture for the same reason, Pete, because it can be used against us in the field? Well, no, I mean, I think I mean, you... if, it's, if pictures of it does trouble to us, sure. wouldn't the knowledge of it do just as much trouble? The knowledge uh, that we torture, sure. isn't that all equally as bad as the pictures of but us doing it? Why is the ACLU going after pictures? Because it's sensationalizing, because the media grabs on it. They can show it everywhere because it will expose and they can drag the Bush administration through the mud. They don't care about the outcome of the conflict on the ground. Thankfully, President Obama does, and he's doubled down in Afghanistan. Okay. He wants to protect the troops there, and that's what this is about, okay, and just I remember, for it. I warn you, you're talking about motive, and you have no idea what's in another man's heart. I don't, you don't. Here's President Obama talking late today about why he won't release those photos. Here he is agreeing with Pete Hegseth here. These photos that were requested in this case uh, are not particularly sensational, uh, especially when compared to the painful images that we remember from Abu Ghraib. But they do represent conduct that did not conform with the Army manual. The individuals who were involved uh, have been identified and appropriate actions have been taken. The publication of these photos would not add any additional benefit to our understanding of what was carried out in the past by a small number of individuals. In fact, the most direct consequence of releasing them, I believe, would be to further inflame anti-American opinion and to put our troops in greater danger. One of the things we do on this program before each show is to try to figure out what's going on on every possible level. Anthony, some people think that what Barack Obama, the president, is doing there is trying to slow down the rush to prosecute torture. Absolutely. Well, in other Absolutely. words, you agree. You both, he sees the release of these pictures potentially as something that will rush the public to, to, to punish the torturers, and that's what you want to happen. Let, let's unpack. No, that's what you want to happen. I do want that to happen. So you both when, see it the same way with punished. different goals. When, when crimes have been committed, we need to prosecute and investigate them. And the president, with all due respect, is flatly wrong when he says that these crimes have been prosecuted and they've been investigated. He says all no, the cases are closed. No way. The highest ranking person who was prosecuted for crimes of torture was a lieutenant colonel who was later on acquitted. There is no way you're going to tell me that with 2,000 photos that go throughout the, right. the theaters of war that these were a few rogue out. Well, that does kind of like Pete. According to the report, a bipartisan report signed by people like John McCain and Lindsey Graham of the Armed Services Committee of the United States Senate said that this came from up the line. That these, this abuse of prisoners at Abu Ghraib and elsewhere came from up the line and did not start at the uh, non-commissioned level or even the junior officer level. If that's the case, have we done justice here? 
I, I think President Obama, I couldn't have said it better than what President Obama said today. And if you want to talk about justice, the reason the photos even came out of Abu Ghraib and the reason these photos would ever come out and see the daylight is because the military did its own internal investigation, that, prosecuted, that and true. found guilty what the members had done. That Absolutely, is it is true. That is not the, true. The, the, how that is how Abu Ghraib came straight. out. Let's talk about there was the an CIA. internal military uh, investigation how on high Abu Ghraib. How high up the chain of command did it go, Pete? According I, to the prosecutions of these officers, how high did it go? Did it go any higher than lieutenant colonel? I, I, that, that, that indeed is above my pay grade, but I can tell but, you that the, that the people that I served with and the intelligence officers I served with right. did everything they needed to do within the law to get active intelligence so my guys could go out and find the enemy and kill the enemy and win these wars. Do and most it was soldiers, not about, do do most, discuss, if we went out there in the field right now, let's discuss, about, let's no, discuss we talked about this thing. I want to get this done on the air right now. If you ask the American people right now if they want these pictures released, I don't know what the result would be. If you ask military families, however, your answer first, Pete. Military families would probably say don't release the pictures, right? Absolutely not. That doesn't represent our service. It doesn't represent what happened. They don't want them released, right? A but and it's, it's, and it's but, because but it's not Americans. representative of what happens on the battlefield. But Bad me, things happen, and, and we'll deal with that Please, internally with the military you know, processes. Let's, let's deal with the facts here. Americans, we believe in the rule of law. We believe when you break a crime, you do the time. If those photos show that crimes haven't, been, in fact, been committed, then people need to be held those accountable. Those individuals for them. are doing the time right now, Anthony. Those, I, I'm sorry, sir. That's not exactly the case. That we is have less the than case. 20 prosecutions. The highest level being a lieutenant colonel who was acquitted. We need to have those photos. We <laughs> understand the gravity of the crimes. And the, and the fact is, it, it doesn't fly when the president says that to release these photos will inflame the public. We've released four torture memos in clear English, unredacted talking yeah. about the torture techniques that were authorized by the Justice Department. Now, are words any less is there any way to Is there any way to find a middle ground here? I'm going to ask you, Pete, first. Would you have objection to these pictures going to a, a commission that would look at these pictures and decide if there was a requirement or a need for further prosecution, if people have escaped justice here? Would probably, you be for that? Probably but, not, with assurances, probably so, with I, assurances that it doesn't reach the public. This is well, about enemy would you propaganda. Be on I agree with Pete. This is the first time I agree with Pete. Let's, if, if, if Attorney General Holder, the country's highest ranking law enforcement official, is to does his these job with the, and with the appoints commission. a special prosecutor like Allah Ken Starr, who can follow it up the chain of command, you can shut these up behind closed doors. How about doors. a better well, that one? How about better than Ken Starr? Give That's me anybody. Trouble. Give me How anybody about anybody Patrick else? Fitzgerald? Chris, give me, but okay. give me a Chris. prosecutor. We've okay. all called on Holder and UKC okay, so over the years. We've reached the group. I feel like Barbara Walters here. I've actually found one. a way of gotten you guys. Or, or, He's just or, trying or, to drag Walter the Bush Cronkite. administration I've actually found an mind. agreement on this show once. In other words, you both agree that it would be the proper, give perhaps, us, compromise give us an to show these pictures to a, a, a responsible, secret Investigator that would look at this responsibly and decide there's crimes that weren't Chris, you I would bet. argue that Pete, the that ACLU... That would work perfectly well. Pete, I would argue that the ACLU's objective is not necessarily to find out what actually happened, but to drag the Bush administration through the mud for political gain. Well, wait gain. a minute. It no. Wouldn't, no. wouldn't that be an appropriate gain. thing to do? Who, who if they're Now, wait a minute. Today? Now, we am have I a compromise here. Or am I if it goes to a nonpartisan commission or it goes to a special prosecutor who's nonpolitical, what's wrong with punishing people who are guilty then? Absolutely. Well, I think that I believe that that's fair special prosecutor would would if it was indeed fair indeed nonpartisan would probably come to fair conclusions okay so as long as it is not a political as long as it is not a political game okay. and the Obama administration powers. isn't rigging that game I would I would stand beside that. okay let me let me I ask about this can the president intervene here can he put his thumb on the scale right now forget our argument here maybe an agreement here to get, send this to a nonpartisan group that's actually going to look for justice not for publicity but can the president win this argument he has put his thumb on the scale now saying he agrees with the military you guys have a case it you've got you're litigating this no, you're trying to get it out into the freedom of information the president can he stop this the president fortunately doesn't decide this one who does the courts do We'll go before so this the is going to the Supremes. Court. Yeah, we'll go to the Supremes. And, and you what's have nine your thinking justices. about that? And I think I think we have a good chance because I think, frankly, this government is built on the on the premises of transparency and accountability. And in okay. fact, what's most disturbing you know what is I that think? the president Pete? ran on a platform. Are you worried the Supreme Court, even though it's five government. four, relatively conservative, including Kennedy, that Kennedy this time might go with the liberals and release these uh, p these pictures? Kennedy, Kennedy is always a wild card, but I would say they will, they most, for the most part, the Supreme Court sides on national security, that it protects the interest of our soldiers on the battlefield, might, might and I remember, think in this particular instance, that might would indeed be the case. Pentagon Papers, they went the other way, yes. Nixon sure. went the other way. And might you Anthony remember Romero, the last three This was one of the best segments cases. we've ever had, because we found agreement on a common ground here, which is to have a panel a that we trust to look at this, without giving these powers. pictures to our enemy. You bet. Thank you.
You know, I thought the ACLU was tough as a rock, but you guys have found a compromise point here. Thank you. Although they may still win anyway in the courts. That's why he's being nice here today. Anthony Romero, who may win on another panel, has agreed to compromise. Pete, well done tonight. Thank Thanks, you, Chris. sir.